Hey guys, it's Mark with Hero Dirt. I'm gonna go over this uh, new little attachment I got for the PS4 controller. It's pretty cool. I like playing with the PS4 controller. I don't play with an iPad. I play with my iPhone. Uh, one of the struggles that I've had, that, you know, other people I've talked to, is finding a place to prop up your phone where you can see it clearly and you're comfortable. So I got this new mount. It clips right onto your PS4 controller, your iPhone goes right in it. Um, this is adjustable. So just turn these and you know this whole mount can swivel. So depending on how you like it and you can turn these knobs back to kind of lock it in place on how you like it. All the buttons work. Your middle button, PlayStation button, um, charging, everything is unaffected by it. Another great thing about it, it's portable, obviously. So if you're on the road, if you're, you know, in your car and you have to stop somewhere for a little bit, you can just whip this right out and play anywhere. Um, you know, it really doesn't affect the gameplay. Um, again, all your buttons work, volume button works. It's not affected by it whatsoever. So I'm gonna play a quick game here just so you can kind of see um, how it works, how seamlessly it is. Uh, let's see if we can actually get this working. Let's try that again. We're having a network error. There we go. Um, the one thing you will notice when you buy this, it does kind of throw off the balance of the controller a little bit. You know, the way I set it up is how I play, you know, so I keep the center of balance so the phone's sitting upright so it's not dragging your, you know, your controller down either way. You are going to feel, you know, a little resistance in the controller, but, you know, that's just natural just because you are having extra weight on here. But again, you know, one of the things I found is when you play on the iPhone, it's tough to get that consistent, you know, kind of distance from, you know, your eyes to from your hands to the, uh, you know, to the screen. So let's try, uh, let's kind of get this going. So this is the new LK24 flesh wound that I got for free. I'll be doing a video on that later. But let's just see how this goes, you know? Again, I just think this thing is so cool. You know, I'm not high speed enough for, you know, a nice iPad, but I prefer the phone. You know, that's just me. Did he just disappear? Did I miss something? Or did he die? You know what? Uh, so it should be noted the Wi-Fi in my house is garbage. So I do play on cell data. I was wondering why this was lagging out. It's never been a problem. So come on. Trying to try the old cryo bomb over there. All right. I want you guys to get an actual feel for how this works. Uh, grenade. Yeah. You, know, you know, obviously, you don't. Most people don't move the controller a whole lot while they're playing. You know, I like throwing the the drones high, so it gives a. Oh, I was like, why is that guy not dying? All right, come on. I want to show you guys a little more how this is gonna work. I am failing hard here. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, let's get this game over with real quick. I'm gonna throw a Hail Mary. So for those who do play on the PS4 controller, I don't know if it's just me, but one of the things I have noticed is the grenade buttons. 
lags a little bit. Um, I don't know if that's just my controller. I don't see any lag when it actually comes to the gameplay. It's just a grenade. So anyway, guys, that is the attachment. I got this off Amazon for, I think it was like under 10 bucks. You know, it is plastic, but you know, I've been playing it for a little while and it seems pretty sturdy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.